<clears throat> okay, so this is the uh, this is the Samsung Instinct unboxing slash review. So here in the box, this is the top here. Not that impressive. You just get your phone there. This is the actual box here. So I've lost some of my pieces already. Can't find them for the review, but it comes with headphones. It comes with a USB jack. It comes with a charger. It comes with this little stylus which extends there you can, there you go. this little stylus that extends um, it comes with a 2 gigabyte uh, micro SD card and mine came with a case so this case is pretty good it covers the actual screen so I'll show you the startup screen here so this is just the screen for when uh, you click this, it just gives you your little clock so you can pull out your phone. But it's still locked so you gotta hold the power button to get in. So you got your uh, instant messaging and email, you got your actual messages which is kinda nice because it gives you groups of, this, of the message instead of uh, just being all jumbled all over the place. You got your back button here, you got Bluetooth, calculator. The calculator does tip uh, and unit converter as well. The GPS doesn't work in Canada yet. And your notes, you can, you can do notes in here. Tap, add, whatever. You got your home button here. So there's the calculator, your clock, you got uh, your alarm. Um, you got your stopwatch. I like the stopwatch. It's very iPhone esque, but uh, I, I like it better than the iPhone. So stop and reset it. Exit there. So settings, you want to change your little display at the beginning there. You go to settings, display, and you can use whatever. You can use present images. So we'll just change it to stars. See a sign. So it'll lock on, and then now we've got this instead. So kind of nice, but you don't really have that for the background. So you in fun you have music we'll open up music here <sighs> doesn't take quite as much time as my old phone out yeah so it opens up it's real nice kinda iPhone-y so you got your speaker on here it's got nice sound so if there was a, a cover page there it would show your cover page or whatever depends on which one. Let's see if we can find one with it. Not, not very many of my songs have. So when you find a good song, let's just use this one. You can leave and uh, keep going through your apps. You can keep going through your apps. Your uh, volume's on the side here. That's all that's on that side. Then you got your speech command and your camera button here. So yeah, you got that. You got live TV, uh, video clips, radio, camera, camcorder, my photo. So you go into your photos. Click in there. It takes a little while to load because it uh, uploads each thumbnail individually. But it's not too bad. So you got your little, I don't know if you can see that little lights slides to the side just like it is on the iPhone it's a little slower but who cares so we'll get out of pictures so that's that um, also you got games which I won't go into because it's just games kind of thing uh, web you got a full internet browser we'll open that up So you can use proxy error because of the, I don't know why. Anyway, it can either be like this or it can be in standard phone mode so it's just smaller that way. Um, download, so web you've got movie listings you can check out in your area what movies you're playing weather I like that it's kinda nice so we'll open that up so 
we'll just open this here. So it says today is supposed to be plus 16, but it's ugly outside, so I should have updated that. It's more like minus 1 right now. Um, we're on web. So you can check your sports feeds, your news, weather. You can go on Facebook, YouTube, entertainment. You can check your emails, then your favorites. So for your favorites, you can just uh, set a friend as a favorite. So this is just an email. You can uh, text um, this way, QWERTY keyboard mode. You can also text in alphabetical order, which seems kind of stupid, but you get used to it. It's not so bad after a while. And also you can just use your thumb. Sorry about that. So to go back to your music, you'd go to fun, click on music, and look there. Now there's a title for it. Just exit, and it'll shut the music down. So web, we're still on. No, we're on favorites. So for favorites, you can add anything. You can add ringers. Oh, go back. You can add ringers. Kind of cool ones. This is my favorite. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, so again, you got your back button here, so we'll just. That goes wherever you are. You can get back out of it. So go back. And then you got your home button, which will automatically take you out of anything. And so no matter where you are, let's go into calculator just for fun, show you what it looks like. That's the calculator. We'll click the phone button. No matter where you are, this opens up. So you got your speed dial here. You got your contacts, history, and your dialer. So this is your dial, they're kind of nice. So we'll just put in. So just a random number, and then you push talk. This is what it looks like when you're calling. Just slide to the side to hang up. You can also redial, save, or just say done. Um. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. You also got your uh, 3.0 headphone jack up here, and a. Lock key, which doubles as the the screensaver here, and you've got your micro SD on the side, which I said comes two gigabyte in Canada, and your speech to command thing. Phone has to be on for that, I guess. Durr. Um. Oh, we'll try that again. Yeah, so that's pretty much it.